I'll answer a few common questions about how to set up for the deadlift. First thing is stance, and that's going to depend on your variation. If you're going to do a conventional deadlift, a good way to do it is to imagine that you're going to jump straight up into the air as high as you can. Wherever your feet go when you're imagining you're going to jump, that's about where they should be for the deadlift. Now if you're going to do a sumo deadlift, that's with your legs out wide, your toes pointing out, and then your hands will go just inside your legs, kind of where you reach down naturally to grab the bar. Now as far as you, your grip, you're going to see a lot of people doing a mixed grip, which looks like this or the other way. Uh, but for the average person who's not trying to break any kind of records, really the best grip is a match grip like this. And then you want to place the bar so that you're holding it in your fingers as opposed to in your palms. Another thing I get asked a lot is how much you should bend your knees. And the simple answer is it really comes down to personal preference and your anatomy. Now, the straighter your legs are when you're picking up the weight, the more pressure that's going to put on your back. And if you bend your, knee, or bend your knees more and start out lower, the more you're going to use your legs on the beginning portion of that movement. Neither one is necessarily right or wrong, so find what's comfortable and do what works for you. Now, for the movement in general, remember these cues. You want your chest up. So in other words, you're not going to be slouching to pick up the weight. So chest up and then butt back so that you're not trying to squat the weight up. You want the butt back, chest up, and then drive your hips forward to get to the top. And don't extend too much, just get into a nice normal standing position. Once you've mastered that, there are countless other variations of the hip hinge, all kinds of different types of deadlifts, different hip thrusts, different back extensions, and a lot more. Now, I recommend starting with a sumo dumbbell or kettlebell deadlift, get in the sumo form, and then just hold the weight, the dumbbell or the kettlebell, in between your legs like this, and do the deadlift. You can use as light a weight as you need until you get really comfortable with the form to be able to move up and go heavier. Now, if you want something even easier than that, the beginner's best hip hinge is probably the glute bridge. Lying on the floor, you're going to drive your hips up by flexing your glutes. You should feel this in your butt and there should be a straight line from your knee to your shoulders. That's a great way to start with a hip hinge, but it will become easy quickly and you won't be able to put a lot of weight on it. Um, so moving from there, you should go to the sumo deadlift uh, like I just showed.